Hello Year 7. So this is the fourth lesson about Sikhism and your eighth lesson about world religions. So as you can see from the picture, we are going to look at Guru Nanak, who was the first um, leader of Sikhism, the person who started the religion. So we're going to learn a bit about him today. Okay, before you do that, either in your exercise book or on a piece of paper, or you could do it on a Word document, you're going to look at these words, and if you cast your mind back to the previous lessons, uh, particularly the introduction to Sikhism, we looked at some of these things. So what you're going to do is see if you can write a paragraph using as many of those words as possible. So obviously they're going to relate to Sikhism, so you could be talking about the religion of Sikhism using those words. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to do. So you might want to pause here now and then do that task and then start again. Okay, let's move on. So again, like the previous lessons, if you download and save this PowerPoint onto your device, then you'll be able to write directly on it. So you've got some answers here to fill in to the key terms. So again, that's just a little recap from what we've already done. Although the five Ks we haven't done yet. So maybe do all the others, or do as many of them as you can, and then see which one the five Ks um, is. Okay. Okay, so who was Guru Nanak? So the first thing you're going to do is to click onto the hyperlink. So you need to play this as a PowerPoint um, slideshow. And then you, if you click, so this isn't, you're not going to be able to get the link here now whilst you're watching the video. You're going to have to go back and go through the PowerPoint. And when you get to this point in, your, uh, in the slideshow, then you click on that and it will take you to, it's about, I think, about a 12 minute video, which tells you the life story of Guru Nanak and the following slides on this presentation also will give you information on Guru Nanak and then you're going to fill in a worksheet, you're going to create a storyboard of Guru Nanak's life, you're going to create a profile page for him and you're going to complete a job advert for his replacement. So those are the tasks for today. Okay so this is information about the birth of Guru Nanak there are some questions on here, but that's just something for you to think about. You don't actually have to write the answers down for that. So this tells you where he was born, and there are some sort of legends and stories around his birth. I suppose similar to stories about the birth of the Buddha or the birth of Jesus. There are these, they're seen as sort of um, very important, almost um, sort of powerful events. Okay. So I'm not going to read through that for you. You can do that. Okay, then we look at Guru Nanak's early life. So this is what happened to him as he grew up. And then he gets this sort of calling, the sense that he needs to do something else, that he needs to um, represent um, God or sort of lead people to God. So he starts this religion of Sikhism. And again, there's lots of information here which will be useful for you when you're going to do all these tasks that come after these slides. Okay, so again, the last one then, um, sort of later life and his eventual death. And he chooses a successor, Guru Angad, um, to carry on his work. In fact, there are ten gurus, after, or nine gurus after Guru Nanak, so there are 10 gurus all together. And the final guru, Guru Gobind Singh, decides that he's going to be the last of the human gurus. And he gives the role of guru to the holy book of Sikhism, the Guru Granth Sahib. So that is now classed as their leader. And that's where they're going to get their um, religious advice and their guidance from. But at this stage, after the death of Guru Nanak, it's Guru Angad that takes over. 
Okay, so in the class materials, there is going to be a Word document with this worksheet on it. Again, you need to download it and save it on to or into your device, into your documents, and then you should be able to write on it. Um, if you can't, then either perhaps you could do it in your exercise book on a piece of paper, um, or you could do it on a Word document. But you should be able to download, save it, and write on it. Okay, so task two. Again, if you've downloaded the PowerPoint, you should be able to put pictures in and write directly onto it. Or you could create your own on a Word document or on PowerPoint, or if you've got Publisher, you could use that. So again, you're filling in a storyboard, you draw it, taking a picture, and then you're writing a sentence or two to sum up his birth and background, his childhood, his father, his work, his religious experience, the community, spreading the message and travelling. So under all those headings, you're going to write a couple of sentences to sum up that part of his life, and then you're going to put a picture in here. So if you're doing it by hand, obviously you draw the picture. If you're doing it on computer, you could put a picture in copy and paste a picture in. Okay, so the third task, you've got to create a social networking profile for Guru Nanak. So imagine he's going on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or something, and you're creating a profile for him. So plan the sections of your profile before you fill in the areas. There's full name, alternative names, place of birth, uh, date of birth, date of death, and then the other things. Occupation is the job. What job did he have? Significant others, so did he have a wife, did he have children, famous moments, famous words, key ideas, so what was his, what were his beliefs, what was he trying to teach people. Okay, so um, again, you could fill it onto the, onto the sheet there, or you could create your own. And then the last one, the last task, you're doing a job advert, so imagine Guru Nana could not find his replacement to continue the message of Sikhism. Design a wanted poster, so you're looking for a new guru to continue the message of Sikhism. So um, what have they got to be prepared to do? What are the suitable candidates going to be like? And so that's the sort of way you should set it out, you see on the right-hand side there. So design a poster as if you were Guru Nanak looking for the second Sikh guru. So think about the sort of things that would make a good replacement. Okay. There we go, that's the end of the lesson and the end of the tasks.